The specific alert that has been issued by IB sources in the special cell say that central intelligence agencies have warned Delhi police about impending attack by lashkar e -Toyba on the national capital. It says Hafiz Said has asked the LED cadre to carry out an attack in the national capital soon. Ankit Tyagi has more details. He's with us right now on the phone line. Ankit, it seems this uh, alert that has been issued by the IB is very specific in nature. Just take us through the details. Well, uh, this is a specific intelligence alert that has been issued. Uh, special cell sources in the Delhi police have informed us that uh, uh, the, the alert uh, specifically says that Delhi is on the hit list uh, as of now. And uh, Hafiz Saeed has asked LET cadres uh, to carry out uh, some sort of an attack, either a bombing or an attack in Delhi uh, very soon. In fact, uh, before 15th August, and, uh, the Delhi police, uh, anyways, is on high alert because it is always uh, a target uh, time as far as the terror groups are concerned. But this is a very specific alert in nature. Uh, sources have also informed us that uh, due to uh, the Ramzan uh, just getting over today uh, and uh, this period between, uh, before till 15th August is very sensitive and um, Delhi has been put on high alert uh, post this intelligence alert. Ankit, just stay on with me. Our strategic affairs editor, Gaurav Sawant, is now joining us live from the newsroom. Uh, Gaurav, now this alert has come at a time after the killing of, killings of our Javans uh, at the LOC. And of course, the news today that has come in of how Hafiz Saeed was leading Eid prayers in Lahore. So clearly having a free run in Pakistan, he's known to be someone who, ha who indulges in anti-India rancor almost on a daily basis. Uh, but this, this is a, a very, very specific alert that has been generated by the intelligence agencies. Hafiz Mohammed Saeed is wanted in India for a series of terror attacks and when it comes to Delhi, he had owned up responsibility for the Red Fort attack and that was an attack on the symbol of India where lashkar e taiba terrorists had entered the Red Fort and attacked military barracks there. So clearly that, that effort is once again on and as Ankit Tyagi was rightly pointing out, this isn't a general alert. Now sources in the intelligence bureau have told uh, the Delhi police that this is around the independence day there would be a specific uh, 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 targeting of delhi whether it will be a market a mall a hospital a school uh, or, or, or bus or metro that is still not known but delhi police has been asked to look after what what is known in military parlance as va and vps uh, vital assets and vital points uh, several have been marked some people have been taken into custody for interrogation uh, some who are seen as known sympathizers or some who have in the past worked uh, for lashkar e taiba or, or have provided some kind of assistance. A lot of interrogation is going on even as we speak to find out who these sleeper cells are, where they are coming from, where they could attack. To stay on with me, Gaurav, uh, like I mentioned, the news that came in today and what happened yesterday, Nawaz Sharif holding that meeting with his officials and expressing the need to have measures in place to ensure truth at the border, India's most wanted LAT founder. Hafiz Saeed led Eid press at the packed Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore. These are pictures that came in despite India's continuous demands for his arrest. The mastermind of the 2611 terror attack in Mumbai, Hafiz Saeed, clearly roaming free in Pakistan. He led these press at a mass gathering that reflects the sincerity and the concern that has been expressed by Pakistan to maintain good relations with India. Despite India's repeated request that he be brought to justice and also a 10 million US dollar bounty on his head, Saeed remains a free man in Pakistan. All right, we're also joined uh, by senior diplomat uh, Mr. Rajiv Dogra right now. Ambassador Dogra, if I could come to you right now, there were reports of how Hafiz Saeed has vi had visited forward, forward post before uh, the ambush that took place in Punch. He was present along the village, in those villages, uh, uh, along, along the LOC, uh, right before the beheading of the Indian soldier in Mindhar. And now reports coming in on how there could be a terror surge from the LET side, a specific alert that has been issued by the IB. Well, I think uh, we should not take this lightly. We should take it with all the seriousness it deserves because of what you have described about Hafiz Saeed giving a warning in each of these strikes against our military men. Uh, and remember also that when eight Indian army men were killed in Kashmir recently, he had again given a similar warning about a week in advance. So I think it will be prudent for our authorities to take this with all seriousness and uh, uh, Hafiz Saeed is a dangerous man. 
and Hafiz Saeed is a self-declared veteran. Uh, so, you know, like America has done recently, they have taken all the warnings seriously from the Al Qaeda. I think we need to take it even more seriously because we've been burned so many times. Well, absolutely. Let me take that to Gaurav Savan for a moment. Gaurav, uh, we know about how the consulates in Lahore today were shut down after specific alerts. We also know how the U.S. had shut down so many of its consulates and embassies across the Middle East, particularly. Uh, this, this threat, of course, could be of different nature. That was Al-Qaeda related, but this is clearly directed at, at India. The threat uh, that has been issued by Hafiz Saeed uh, and the reports that had come in earlier of uh, how Hafiz Saeed was camping in some of those villages very close uh, to the El just before the Poonch ambush. Government of India needs to understand Pakistan's sincerity or the lack of it in tackling terror aimed at India. Hafiz Mohammed Saeed is a terrorist not because India says so. Hafiz Mohammed is a, uh, Saeed is a terrorist because the world knows so. He's been found uh, responsible for a series of terror attacks in India and, in, and on Indian interests in Afghanistan. As you rightly pointed out, there is a $10 million bounty on him, the United States calls him an international terrorist. The United Nations uh, says he's a terrorist and yet he's not on the run in Pakistan. He's not in hiding in Pakistan as Osama bin Laden was. This man leads the Friday prayers of Eid in a city like Lahore where Nawaz Sharif's brother Shabaz Sharif is the chief minister of Punjab. Just goes on to indicate that Pakistani state is complicit in the activities of Hafiz Mohammed Saeed. Recently, the Punjab government gave lots of money to Jamatu Dawa, which is just a front of Lashkare Taiba. Right. Lashkare Taiba is spreading terror, not just in Jammu and Kashmir, but across the country and also attacking Indian interests in Afghanistan right. along with the Haqqani network. Just goes on to show that there is a very complex web of terror targeting Indian interests and our government needs to wake up to this threat and tackle it. Absolutely. We have Major General uh, Retired Jiri Bakshi also the phone line with us. General Bakshi, as far as Pakistan is concerned, it continues to speak with forked tongue, uh, considering that Nawaz Sharif expressed concern and had also uh, expressed sadness at the killings of Juban at the LOC, at the incidents that took place at the LOC in his own words. Uh, but clearly allowing Hafiz Saeed to hold such a massive gathering. He's a man who has a 10 million US dollar bounty on his head. India, of course, has been asking that he should be brought to justice, but he continues to roam free in Pakistan and continues with his anti-India rhetoric. You see, the fact of the matter is, I cannot understand the basis of the boundless optimism regarding Sir Nawaz Sharif in, new, in some quarters in New Delhi. You know, it seems to be the rest of any realist appraisal of what exactly is the situation in Pakistan. How much of a free actor is Nawaz Sharif? How much the Pakistan Army and the ISI will allow him to shape the policy over India and JNK and Afghanistan and, you know, the nuclear issues? He is absolutely not in control. He is not in charge. Number one. Number two, he has come up with the support of these jihadi tanzeems to include the lashkar e -Toyba. His brother Shahbaz Sharif, who has been in power in Punjab, Pakistan's Punjab for the past five years, has not lifted a finger to take any action against Hafiz Saeed, Zakiur Rahman Lakwi, or any of the people who were involved in the 26-11 dastardly attack. To the contrary, as you very rightly pointed out, they have been giving the Jamatu Dawa huge tranches of money. We all know the Lashkar e Toiba, which is the uh, the real face behind the Jamatu Dawa, was involved in the beheading of our soldier and their most recent, uh, you know, killing of five of our boys. So, uh, with all this, this just adds fuel to the fire. There is Hafiz Shaheed openly asking for attacks on Delhi and other significant targets in India. So what will happen when these attacks materialize? What will happen to your peace efforts? Will we not look ridiculous? So I think it is uh, more pertinent to first establish bona fides, to first establish whether he is in a position to deliver, what exactly is his leading? He cannot come up with the support of jihadi parties, you know, which are at war with India. 
and then you know claim to be talking peace with India. It right. doesn't gel. It doesn't make sense. Yo, General Jiri to... Bakshi, Gaurav Sawan, thank you both for joining us. Uh, so a specific alert that has now been issued by the intelligence agencies, particularly to the national capital, uh, about a possible terror strike that is being plotted by LET, which is uh, founded by Hafez Said, the man who led Eid prayers in Lahore's Gaddafi Stadium this morning.